the Twilight Starfighter is famous in the Star Wars Clone Wars TV series. It is a G9 Ligger fighter made by the Colonial Engineering Corporation. It is a length of 34 meters in length, equipped with a hyperdrive, laser cannons, and needs a crew of two. If you want to hear more about the ship and its history, that's what I'm going to be doing in this video. If you want to know more about the missions it's been in, like from the saving of R2-D2 from General Grievous, and the destruction of the malevolence and what part it played. Please keep watching this video if you are not interested very well. <clears throat> As I said before, the ship has laser cannons and a hyperdrive. But the Twilight had one main wing and a reactable second wing. The second wing was smaller. The wing gave extreme maneuverability along with its along with its capability to move fast in small places. The ship comes equipped with the three blasters, one located on top of the ship, one on the big wing on the, well, the left, and one in the rotatable wing below, which the rotatable wing could be packed into the big wing to make it easier for landing. It got upgraded by Anakin Skywalker, which gave it multiple abilities just when it was used in the Republic's Grand Army during its service. The first time we ever see t the Twilight spacecraft is, all, is after the Battle of Tiff, or maybe I should say during the Battle of Tiff. On a desperate rescue mission to save Jabba the Hutt's son, the, the 212th Attack Battalion, assigned with the 501st Legion, led by three Jedi, General Skywalker, General Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Palawan Ahsoka Tano. The ship was obtained by General Skywalker and his apprentice Ahsoka Tano, when they fled the old monastery on Tef. And then they made their way from Tef all the way to Tatooine, and then the ship crashed into the sand dunes to a malfunction of the engine or some sort of problem which is unknown of. It was left in the sand of Tatooine while Anakin Skywalker and Ahsoka Tono fought their way against Count Dooku to return Jabba the Hutt's son, which ends up in a successful mission. After that was over, the ship was recovered by the Grand Army of the Republic and then given over to Anakin Skywalker as his personalized ship throughout many missions. The Twilight spacecraft, as owned by Anakin Skywalker, had seen its part done within the Clone Wars, going wherever he went as its personal ship that would maybe require assistance for troop deployment from his ship or so on it depends what happened within the three years of the Clone Wars. In such events there was one time when 
the droid army had created the warship the malevolence a warship capable of destroying ships by firing a massive iron cannon which would defuse enemy ships in meaning the public ships destroying them flying their systems and the malevolence using all its firepower on the ships and destroying them all when the malevolence got destroyed just destroying the weapon the iron cannons it was in major damage and then unexpectedly senator padme amadala with accompanied by c Fleepio and r2d2 will come along with this they got caught into the middle of the battle and then they got tracked into a tractor beam onto the malevolence so anakin skywalker and obi-wan kenobi took the twilight starfighter made their way into the malevolence and then came out in one piece so when the malevolence got destroyed they would never be part of the disaster which was to come of the massive warship another time the ship was used was in when Handu Oka, I believe I'm seeing his name correct, a pilot captain, captured Count Dooku and he also was able to capture Anakin and Obi Wan Kenobi. By doing this, Anakin and Obi Wan used the Twilight, landed at Handu's pilot base and then got captured as a bargaining deal for the Republic. And within the time they were captured, everyone escaped without any issues, without and also without Count Dooku himself. He ran off in a pilot's ship. It was used in a mission to save R2-T2 from being captured by the Separatists during a battle when Grievous was destroying enemy fleets vastly without stopping, which was causing problems for the Republic. And when Anakin Skywalker went into battle, his ship got damaged and R2 was lost. And then they used the twilight to search for him in the debris. He was not there. And then the ship was used to go to a vast moon in another system, which had a droid listening outpost to listen. The ch they were listening to all the chatter from all communications in the public fleet. And then what happened was the twilight went into the listening outpost found r2 the clue with lex a couple of clone soldiers and uh, ahsoka tono anakin skywalker and a new r3 unit which later found to be a traitor working for the separatists and then the last time the Twilight was ever used was by Obi-Wan Kenobi. When I meant Anakin upgraded the ship, he upgraded it in a way which was making to a pile of garbage to drive. Malfunctioning, breaking extra parts to it and falling to pieces, making it absolutely useless. Just. It was used when Duchess Satine was taken off her throne and captured by the Death Watch. When she was in the middle of an attempt of a rescue by Mandalorians, which did not serve Death Watch, she contacted Obi Wan Kenobi before getting captured again. 
and then Obi-Wan Kenobi came in the Twilight Fighter, rescued Duchess Satine, and then Death Watch destroyed the ship, not killing Duchess Satine and Obi-Wan, which means the ship was destroyed and to watch the what happened afterwards, you'd have to watch the Clone Wars episode, The Lawless, Series 5, Episode 16. If you liked that video, please like and subscribe to this channel, please. And if you want any more on Star Wars content, look at this playlist on Star Wars Analysis. And if there'll be there'll be more types of Star Wars themed coming up soon and if anyone wants any ships any characters explained in detail please comment below thank you and may the force be with you